Welcome to another small talk for you. This morning we're going to take a look at installing Web Velocity. We're using a Mac here, but if you're on Windows, you'll get an installer. If you're on Linux, you can get a .deb or an RPM. You can also get a tar gzip archive if you want to do it all by hand on Linux. In any case, it's very simple. For Windows, the installer is pretty straightforward. For Mac, you'll get this DMG. I'll skip this verification step. And all you'll have to do is go over here. I'm going to click on the window, pick up Web Velocity, drag it over here to Applications. And I've already got this installed, so I'm going to tell to replace. But in any case, it's just a file copy operation. It moves the 110 or 15 megabytes from one place to another. And once it does that, you can close this, get rid of that. Let's go there. And you'll see down here towards the bottom, since it's called Web Velocity, it's alphabetically all the way down. So we'll scroll past Utilities, and we'll go here to Web Velocity. And I'll double click it. And I'll go ahead and say yes, even though I downloaded it from the internet, you can fire it up. And if I bring a browser into the view, you'll see that it comes up with a login screen. Now, this is the part that throws a few people. The default is admin for user and password for administrator. You can go ahead and change that in settings once you've finished. In any case, it's now running. And there you go. Now, it turns out I've got a few things in my repository because I've done work with this. But in any case, it comes right up. And there you are, ready to get started with your first project using Web Velocity. So, until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.